everyone, welcome back to Hackles and Wings Fly Tying videos. Today we're going to tie the simple horse ear. I call this simple one because it has no bead nor thorax cover and the only materials we will use is some coq de lion, horse ear, rabbit fur, for the weight some lead wire and then for the ribbing some golden tinsel. The hook I'm using is the Tiemco 3769 and this is a hook specially made for nymphs and wet flies so it works really well. You could also tie this one on a grub hook. For this fly I'll do a variant and I will use olive. This is the Union 8 out in olive. But first what we have to do is to put some weight on the fly and for this I use Sap a gap. So you just put a drop of glue and then with some lead free wire. This is 0 0.015. And then what you do is I usually wind this up the opposite direction. So from the middle of the hook, wind it up towards the eye. Eight turns or so. And then, with some flat nose pliers, flatten the wire and as you go up, increase the strength. So, this way you will get a nice taper. Then, wind up the last turns and snip it off. Then do the same on the other side. And then finish with some turns. And this should give you a nice taper to the fly. Then put another drop of glue on top. This isn't needed, but it gives a little more strength. And now to tie the fly, start with your thread at the eye of the hook and wind it down, making sure to wind down the wire and go back to the barb of the hook. Now this is optional but I will put in a tail and for this I use some coq de lion. This is this color is medium. For this you could also use some guard hairs or any other hackle fibers. Put the fibers 90 degrees from the stem. Here I have 5-6. Then tear them off. And now we want to measure the length. And the length of the tail should be about the length of the body. So take this measurement and then Transfer it to your other hand and with a pinch loop tie it down at the barb and here you can go one turn under to lift up the fibers and there we have the tail. For the rib I will use some uni French. This is gold and it's size small. So tie this in at the same point and you should leave the length of the body facing forwards and then we can tie this down cut off the coq de lion. and now we can tidy up with some turns take your thread back to the time point for the body, I use some olive rabbit fur. Make a quite thin dubbing noodle. And then make sure the first turn is right at the back. And then we can start building up the shape we like. If you need a little more, just put on another pinch. 
and build up. And it should look like this with a nice taper from the back to the front. Now take the wire and we'll wind this up 5-6 turns. As you reach the thread, put a 90 degree band and tie it off. Then using an old pair of scissors you can cut the wire. For the thorax I use a mix of dark olive rabbit fur and some natural horse hair. And the horse hair has these nice guard hairs in it which will make for nice legs. So I'll just do a finger blend and here what you want is a little thicker thorax than the body so you can quite build it up as we'll brush it out later you should overdress this fly a little so with some turns build up the thorax then as you reach the eye pull back any fibers and make some turns in front and then you can whip finish. Three turns. And then cut off your thread. If you want to, you can put a little drop of head cement or super glue. And then the last thing to do is take the velcro or your dubbing brush and just brush out all these fibers and this will make for a lifelike fly and there we have the simple horse here <laughs>